Hello, welcome back to my little channel, Sarah Selection. I hope you're all well. Please do ignore the hair. I look like something that's gone through a bush backwards combined with a Jane Austen heroine or nun heroine who's had a really bad hair day. Just look at this. And it's so yellow. I tried putting in a sort of, um, not hair mascara, like a, a brow mascara and it's gone really yellow. It's gone from, well, whitey bluey yellow to orangey yellow and look at the dark bits oh my god i shouldn't really draw attention to it should i it is a disaster a hair duster hair disaster that's the one you couldn't make it up i'm sweating like anything today it's so blooming hot i mean i start talking and i start dripping sweat it's absolutely vile i try not to have a, a rant about it because you if you know me you know how i feel about the heat I blooming hate it. I'm so unhappy I could cry. I've, oh, I've got the day off today though, which is great, so I can hide indoors. Took Daisy out for a really early morning walk. So I'm a bit knackered in a good way because now I can do my little video and then I can relax for the rest of the day. Anyway, I really am gonna try not to bang on today because I really do go on and on and on and I think it doesn't add much to the video. I can talk about products and things, but I don't think you need my, all my little anecdotes. I save them for another day. But um, all's well here, apart from the heat. I'm gonna start with my little shaker spear quote. Do, 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 Oh yeah. And I keep thinking this is from um, Much Do About Nothing, but it's not. This quote I love, particularly all the horrible stuff going on in the world. I'm trying not to be sort of all um, trite and glib, but um, this quote, it just grabbed me. It's not particularly new or exciting. You might have heard it. You might not have heard it. I hadn't. <laughs> and it's from The Winter's Tale. It is, gosh, I'm really sweating. I'm just gonna wipe my upper lip. Please excuse me. It's so, I'm gonna go off camera a second. You're actually resting on top of kitchen rolls. So I, I can't go up there and dab, but wait a sec. I'm gonna dab off camera. Wait, give me a sec. Oh. I hate having a sweaty upper lip. It's so unladylike, so unpleasant. I get quite distressed at the thought of it. Anyway, being a bit dramatic. Anyway, affliction may one day smile again. Until then, sit thee down, sorrow. Basically, it can be interpreted in many ways. My first thought when I saw it, I better smudge my lipstick on me. Lipstick and lip gloss from Primarco. <laughs> When I saw it, I, I, for some reason, let me look at it again. I thought it meant um, things are okay now, but they may get worse. <laughs> Until then, not to worry too much about it. It's not that at all. Basically, it means in the darkness, there's always a light. Ride this bumpy path and something good will come of it at the end. Basically, life is hard, life is challenging, life is tricky, but, you know, there's always something good at the end of it, if you wait. Basically, good things come to those who wait, which is actually taking, it's totally out of context, but I know what I mean, if you know what I mean. So basically, it means, you know, when things are really tough, that there's a glimmer of light, there's a, in the, in the end, and then there's something happens today in the world, which I'm not gonna go into, but something very upsetting happened um, and I'm, I'm trying to look at a positive spin on it. So when things are really tough, as they often are, there's a positive side, hopefully in the end, fingers crossed, that could potentially come out of it, if you know what I mean. Anyway, jumping along to the little hall, I managed a slight rant. Morning. No, not really. I managed to spend a grand total of, my mother's in the other rooms, I don't want her to hear, I'm at her house right now for a few days, 50 quid, over 50 quid, including the delivery fee, and I give a little tip, so in the end, way over 50 quid, but I really haven't got that much to <laughs> show for it, it's crazy, but I will start with the fun stuff, just so you can see. So, the first three items, these are not for me, I promise. I am trying to do the whole healthy eating, not a diet, 
lifestyle thing, I did first of all buy three packs of these. <laughs> One's on the floor now next to Daisy. She's looking completely perplexed and baffled. But it is what it is. So chocolate chip muffins. Pack of 12, got three packs, which if you're good at math, you'll know is 36. <laughs> I'm not good at math. I had to redo my math GCSE because I found it so challenging. It was the only thing I actually did any work for and I still had to redo it. But anyway, I worked that out. These are for a friend of a friend's barbecue. I've been invited to a barbecue. I'm never invited to barbecues. I've been invited to a barbecue and it was like, what would you like to bring? <laughs> and I was like, what's the easiest thing I can bring? And it was like, dessert or something sweet or something to nibble on that's sweet-ish. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate, extravagant, just little, little cupcakes that you might want to make, Sarah, or little muffins. So I'm going to rough these up a bit and then pull bits off and maybe break a few and then pretend I've made them and serve them on a platter. It is what it is. <laughs> so naughty. The next thing, oh gosh, if Paula's watching, Paula, I have got lots of Pepsi Max in the fridge at work and in my car, but just this once, I fancied, I've gone to the other side, Coca-Cola, um, zero, zero sugar, zero sugar, vanilla, it better, be, it better be, yeah, vanilla. I just really fancied it, because I thought, I did think about putting like a, a coffee syrup into Diet Coke, but I thought that's sugar-free, and it was like 2.25. Sorry, just going back to these muffins, these were, 135 each. I'm not gonna work that out on camera. Four pounds and five P, I think. Four pounds and five P for three of them. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know why I'm wrong? Because I had to redo my maths GCSE. Disclaimer. And yes, that was 225. Absolutely delish. Next item. So I watched a film with Daisy Ridley called Something Like I Think I'm Dying. And it was about this socially awkward girl who they stripped all makeup off, given her plain hair and clothing, still looks absolutely beautiful, ravishing. And one of the meals she had was cottage cheese. So, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my delightful mother in her own house, how dare she write, cottage cheese. And I thought, cottage cheese, mix in a bit of fruit, chuck it in a salad. Oh, one thing I learned about cottage cheese from this Daisy Ridley film is that it's not a cheese. It's actually not cheese. It is... Wait a sec, a curd? I have no idea what a curd is, something frothed up. I am no nutritionist or baker, as you probably can see, but this is made from apparently skimmed milk and it's frothed up into a curd, something like that, according to Daisy Ridley's character. Anyway, I thought it looked quite good. Then I got some Oatly oat milk. I've already opened it and had a few swigs, I can't lie. I'm quite into oat milk at the moment, particularly in a nice cup of tea and loads of sweetener because I'm trying to transition over to oat milk and plant-based and all that jazz. Next thing I got, very unexciting if you're a meat eater, corn vegetarian ham slices. Really expensive for what it is. It was something like £2.85, which correct, correct me if I'm wrong, is way more expensive than real ham. And it doesn't taste like much, not gonna lie, but it's nice and salty. Chuck some tomatoes in, a bit of mayo, a bit of lettuce. You've got yourself a nice sani, haven't you? Then, and I could not resist these. I mean, look how yummy these are. Potato, cheese, and onion. Croquettes, but I couldn't resist them. They were quite cheap, and I thought, have them with like veggie fingers, baked beans, or salad, or whatever, for a nice, easy meal after I've had a long, like 11 hour shift at work, you know? Then, I actually cannot stand certain cheeses. I'm the greediest sod on the planet when it comes to cheese, like Red Leicester, Brie, Camembert. I've never liked things like mozzarella. I can't see the point of it. I don't like the texture, the look of it, the taste. It's just nothing. But, and also feta. I've never liked feta. It's too strong for me. With olives, yeah, and a salad maybe. But anyway, when I was house sitting, I nicked some of their feta. Had it with avocado, tomato, leaves, all different veg, nice bit of dressing, honey and mustard. So this is the first of two items that I copied from my last house sit in purchasing. Also very weird packaging, 
Oh, he spat everywhere then. So three, strength number three, Morrison's Feta. How nice that look if you're a Feta fan. I'm still not a Feta fan, I can't lie. But I do like it popped into a salad. It's absolutely delish. So the second item that I copied from the family I last held that for in Cobham is, this is a low fat version, so I feel quite smug and pleased with myself. This is a honey and mustard dressing for salad. And it's called Counted. 12 calories per portion. I mean, you can bet your bottom dollar, I, I will have roughly 10 portions per salad, which um, to totally negates the whole point of having a healthy salad. So it'll be 120 calories, but it's better than having something full fat and then having the same amount. I'm trying to justify it, but honey and mustard, delicious. Then I've got a plant-based butter it's called buttery so I must remember that and it's like sweating everywhere honestly the stuff came to me as it does from Amazon or Morrison's all lined beautifully with ice packs and everything was melting I've literally just received this order from this lovely couple and it was melting everywhere already so it's so blooming hot is it must be about 29 where I am in Surrey it's too hot so I'm not gonna go on about it again I've done my little rant, not gonna bang on about it. So it ain't gonna help anyone. Next, I got two of these microwave pasta things. Thumbnail? No, only joking. And they're green pesto, ready in 90 seconds, both vegetarian. Oh, the fat's a bit high for what they are. But calorie wise, they are, is that right? 300, that can't be right. 305 calories per thing. Wow, yeah, 300 calories for each of those tiny packs. Note to self, check calorific content. You'd think I would be onto that now, wouldn't you? But I just saw them, I thought, work, microwave, quick, easy, yum. Oh, sorry, Daisy, nearly, nearly kicked my dog then. <laughs> she's right under my feet, as usual. You are right, darling? Oh, she's looking at the cakes. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> I'll give you a little treat in a minute, okay? She has just had one though, okay? The next thing is a vegan one pot meal bowl, coconut lentil turmeric. Why do I say turmeric? I keep being corrected. Turmeric. I, well, turmeric. I like turmeric. Turmeric dal, hearty, rich, and spiced. And it looks a bit like, well, that's the packet, but in the packaging, in real life, that's how it looks. It's delicious. I highly recommend anything from Bowl. They're not cheap what they are. They're quite small, they're about three quid. It depends where you buy them from, but that was about 285 to 3.25, so big scope there, but around three quid. I wouldn't have spent any more. The next thing I got, right, I have issues with this. I'm not gonna preach or be a hypocrite because I've eaten meat in the past, blah, blah, blah. I've not always been veggie. And sometimes I slip up, but the next item is four lamb quarter burgers with mint for my delightful mother. And I bet the dogs will have a nibble or two as well. Basically, I just think, how could anyone eat lamb? Lamb is the most delightful little creatures bouncing around, frolicking in the meadow. How could someone grab one and murder it or eat one knowing it's been grabbed from its little flock? There's a film called, what's it called? Swallow with Hayley Thingy Bob. What she called? She was in The Girl on the Train and Music and Lyrics. She's blonde. She looks a bit like Jennifer Lawrence. Anyway, it's about Pika. So Lisa, if you're watching, watch this film about Pika, about eating objects that aren't food, that aren't consumable. Um, in this film, she develops an obsession with eating things like batteries, um, nails, um, pins, sharp things, metal things. She, something in the taste that really appeals to her. Anyway, the beginning of the film, there's this segment that's showing, you know, food, how it ends up on a plate. And it's got all these cute little lambs in a shed. And they're like this little, you know, cuddled up together. And then suddenly this shadow looms over them. And they look up all terrified and huddled together like this in fear. And it's the effing farmer who's come to rip one away from the safe sanctuary of the family to be slaughtered, murdered and chucked on someone's plate. And the next scene you see before she goes down her peak, her journey, you see the girl, Haley, whatever she's called, with friends and family and all that jazz, around a table eating said lamb. And it just shows you how it goes from, you know, happily alive, slaughtered, murdered, onto a plate. And then 
thus begins her journey eating things other than food or animals <laughs> batteries and things like that that's what she particularly likes anyway if you haven't seen swallow with it oh what is her name Haley Haley bennett that's her name so she's married to the director of um prime prejudice atonement all that kind of thing and um, so anyway the next item i've got not making anyone feel guilty but <laughs> i feel if you eat lamb you eat lamb whatever i got myself some vegan burgers i thought these were actually those little bites you can get from the same company but they are the pumpkin and spinach pumpkin spinach and mixed vegetables in a puffed quinoa coating and full of flavor so basically i've got myself oh it says four servings so four vegan burgers I just thought they looked quite nice. They're processed as fuck, not gonna lie. Of course they are. I should really be making them myself. Can I be asked? No, I bloody can't. Love the idea of it, but I really can't be bothered with cooking at the moment. I just cannot be asked. I can't lie. I'm working full time plus overtime. I've got another little job. I've got my dog. I'm doing a lot of commuting at the moment and traveling all over the place, um, planning holidays, planning operation. YouTube is all going on. Honestly, I've never been this busy, which is a good thing, I suppose. It's better than the alternative, which is sort of mooching about or not working or whatever, you know, not judging anyone who's like that, but I'm saying for me, it's better to be moving. Otherwise, if I sit down, I just won't get up again. You know, not quite that dramatic, but anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean? Next item is, they had no blooming avocados and I wanted avocado for my salad, but because I'm trying to eat more salad, but I've got beetroot, just a tin of beetroot. And honestly, if you have plastic gloves, I would advise you wear them when you deal with beetroot or don't touch it as I do. And then you look at your fingers and they're all red and it gets in your nails and nail grooves and everything. And then under the nail beds as well. Then it's quite unexciting from here. It's all, it's all healthy, healthy and boring or dog food. This is absolutely melting, so I probably have to eat it now, but I've got some green cuisine, 10 veggie fingers. And yes, I'm obviously a 10 year old kid at heart, processed as anything, but they're so delicious. And you dip them into a mixture of ketchup and barbecue sauce. And I just happen to have a few little tubs from McDonald's in my car. I have no idea how they got there. I don't go to McDonald's. Can you imagine me going to a McDonald's drive-through and having McDonald's breakfast? No, must, must, someone must have planted them there. <laughs> I've got cucumbers. So I'm eating really healthily, trying to. Then I've got this, which looks really limp and sorry for itself. Really cheap though, rocket and baby leaf salad. I didn't realize it was two for 120. That's really cheap. This cost me about 80p, 89p, 90p, something like that in the region of that sort of area. Then, Oh, they look a bit ripe. Got some tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Honestly, I've gone about tomatoes. I could do a monologue about tomatoes. I love the baby mixed ones you get from Amazon. They're like, they're like blood red and then maroon, yellow, orange, almost green, multicolored baby tomatoes. And they're so sweet. They each have their own special flavor. They're sweet, they're salty, they're tangy. Absolutely delish. So I'm gonna get those next time. Then, I'm Oh my gosh, I can see my mother's dog trying to come in. She might try and come in as well. If you see a face in the background with sunglasses, that is my mother. For the dogs, this is not for me or my mother. I got some turkey mince because they will not eat dog food. They're dogs who won't eat dog food. I'm sure you can relate. They're so spoiled. They eat dog food mixed in, but that's not my phone. It's a very loud noise, isn't it? So they have mince with carrots, sometimes a bit of sprinkling of cheese on top, and then a tiny little addition of kibble, which they'll leave behind every time. These are the carrots, which they will share, the dogs will share with my mother's horse. Oh, I forgot to get her her pears. My mother's horse loves pears, and I, I forgot to get them. So I will have to dash out and get some pears, or get them tomorrow on the way to work. Honestly. Then last but not least, I got two packets of dog treats. Wag Tasties, Tasty Bones, ooh. Oh, they're little mini bones, chicken and liver. 
I had to pick them up because they were the cheapest because I, I was going to the end of my budget and I was like, shucks, I'm getting there 50 quid. I don't want to go over that. Because only for a few days and they've got so many treats, but I just thought I'd add to their collection. I'm not normally that type, don't worry, they get the best normally. And they got wag treats, steak and chips. I mean, they'll like that, won't they? With beef and potato. Oh yes. What's that, Daisy? Oh, it's ignoring me. She is staring. I wish I could show you the camera. She's staring at the cupcakes. Not cupcakes, the muffins. They look nice. Oh, bless her. In fact, I'll show you really quickly what she looks like. What's that, Daisy? So she is just sitting there staring at the muffins, which are upside down, but she knows what they are. She knows. She's very bright. She's not dark. You can't pull the wall over her eyes at all, can you? Dogs are so clever and cats. I find all the cats I look after and dogs always want my food. Whatever I have, if it's sweet, savoury, they always want a bit. And I thought it was only dogs who like your food, but it's dogs and cats. Anyway, I better go because I've got to put this away. Look how my hair's frizzed. I mean, it's frizzed anyway because of the blooming weather. I've only gone out for a dog walk and then taken the, the delivery in. But look, as I've been talking to you, it's frizzed up even more. So it's yellow and it's frizzy and looks like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Honestly, it can't get any worse, can it? I think I might actually have to call the professional, professionals in. I was about to say profesh. Get some fresh help. I think a good haircut before I have my op and probably some highlights and or toner. I don't know, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope I haven't blathered on about too long this time. I do have a tendency to do so, as you know, get things off my chest. <laughs> very good therapy, actually. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for being my therapist. <laughs> anyway, my next video is probably going to be another walk, but I might be doing yet another haul because I haven't been to the range for a while and I've got a little list building of things I do actually need myself, my mother, the house sits for the dogs, um, for fun. <laughs> I do like the range. Anyway, I will see you again in another vid. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you are coping with this weather. You know, take it easy, keep hydrated, keep ca take care of yourselves and of each other. See you soon. Bye.